Okay, here's a demo of a fresh install of Elementary OS. Get to turn on the computer. This is the first boot. Um, we've installed the OS and nothing more yet. So we get the greeter here. We've got your indicators and everything up there. Um, and then you get initial setup here, which lets you create a user. So you can go ahead and just use a keyboard or mouse. There's an open issue to auto select the correct locale here. And to focus this as well. But then you enter your user details, your name, username, and password. Just do something simple. gives you some feedback about your password and it lets you confirm it and then finish which then immediately loads that new user on the screen here you can enter your password again to log in so you understand that process and get used to that process and then here is your brand new user account and immediately you get this onboarding which welcomes you to the OS gives you some good links of course if you're not connected to the internet here uh, now is a good time to go up and do it here I because I've been demoing this, I'm already connected. Then you can set up a few handy settings, um, like location services explains what they do. Um, you can check more settings if you want. And here you see there's not really much else to do here. You can toggle on or off. Nightlight tells you what it does. Again, more settings. This is handy because it lets you set up the schedule if you want, if you turn it on. And this, of course, the setting stays in sync here between you know, the different windows and everything. And then housekeeping, which is really handy. This is also handy because it tells you, again, like you can change the, the number of days here if you turn this on. Um, so the more settings here are useful, but for most people, they'll just want to be able to say, yeah, yeah, I want to do that. You can pop up an app center to take a look, see what's in there. And then of course we give you just a link straight to system settings so you can see all the things that are available if you want to change anything, accessibility or just preferences or hardware things. You can do that right out of the gate and then get started. And then that won't ever pop up again. That's just for your first install.